is National Foster Care Month, and the need in our area is surprising. Over 5,000 kids in Virginia are waiting for homes with over 200 right here in Roanoke City. Today we have Victoria and Thomas Holdren here with us, and they're going to tell us a little bit about their experience as foster parents. Thank you so much for joining us today. Our pleasure. We're really enjoying Absolutely. highlighting these stories and, and finding out a little bit about why you guys have gotten involved with the foster care system. So how many foster care kids have you all welcomed into your home so far? So far we have only welcomed three into our home, and we have those three currently still. And you still have those three currently? Yes. So um, how long have you guys been doing this? So how many years have you have you been welcoming foster kids? We have been open for a year. Okay. Um, but I come from a background of foster care. My parents did foster care. My grandparents did foster care as well and have adopted eight kids. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So you grew yeah. up kind of with this sort of system and the understanding that this is so beneficial to people's lives. Did yeah. you have any experience with this before kind of no, so getting with, involved with her? So with my career, I'm a full-time firefighter paramedic. Okay. So I kind of see the back doors of that yeah. and the need of, of children needing to be placed emergently. Yeah. into foster system and things like that but I pretty much went by the motto of happy wife happy life so that is a great one absolutely but of course we have to, we had another foster family on recently that was another first responder and he said he, he kind of felt that personal need to help out because you see it firsthand and you really want to want to help on the back end of things um, so why did you make the decision to become foster parents you know our Thomas has a son mm -hmm. and he wanted so badly to be a to have brothers and he has two sisters by his mom, mm -hmm. and you know we couldn't guarantee him a brother. Right. So through way of foster care and helping others, and coming from the background that I did, we decided that would be a great way to open our home and help him to have a brother. Yeah. And we got two boys right off, and they all meshed, and they are brothers since day one. I was gonna say, and he's living his best life right now. I bet yes, with his brothers. Is. So, and with your biological son, was there a little bit of a transition? I know that the, the, his mom was involved a little bit in your decision, as well as kind of, how did you explain that with him? So he's pretty well-rounded. He's easy to talk to and, and understand, and he was just down for it. He was okay. like, he's like, I just want some brothers to play yeah. with. And when they first met, it was like instant bond. There was no, um, getting to know each other. They just all fell in like they were all brothers from day one. Right, and his, his mom wasn't quite on board right away. So his mom, she works healthcare as well, mm -hmm. um, and like everybody, they always hear the bad. Right, absolutely. You, you really rarely hear about the good things. Um, so we just, you know, talked about it and, and um, made some priorities that if anything bad would happen, you know, obviously it would be taken care of, but once she got to see the kids too, she fell in love with them just as much as we did. That's so sweet, and that's absolutely true. These kids really just want some love and somewhere to feel safe. Um, now, as far as the placement process goes, I know that you guys experienced a lot of different things, but what are some of the things really quickly that you consider when you're accepting, accepting children into your home? You wanna think about your life that you currently have and how you're going to allow these children to mm -hmm. mesh into your life. If a child is going to have greater needs than you can meet, it may be something that you need to step back and understand right. that the right fit. might not be the right fit for me. There's going to be a fit somewhere along Absolutely. the road, and you'll know when it's the right Absolutely. one. Absolutely, guys. Well, if anyone out there is considering um, foster care, please reach out to First Home Care, and they can help you out, firsthomecare.com. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.